I'm so glad you've recovered, Captain. I didn't know you cared. Well, if anything happened to you, who'd take me walkies? Hmm. Well, I was very lucky we had a ship's doctor. Oh, yes. I envy her being able to fly the way she does. You know, old girl, I'm very lucky to have such a good crew. Take Roger, for instance. He's an excellent pilot. But he's a little impulsive, don't you think? Captain, we've come all this way. We've got to take a look. Well, all right, but... Sol 20, Captain! You know, Roger, Gung Ho should be your middle name. Gung Ho, indeed. I think Isambard coined that phrase. Ah, oh, yes, Isambard. He's very protective toward you, Captain. Captain! Down! Oh! I suppose he is. Oh! He's very inventive and an excellent engineer. Such a delicate touch. I must say, Sir Squeakalot is a fine, upstanding robot. A real gentleman. But his obsession with the housework is a bit much. Uh, uh, oh! <gasps> Squeaky! That's an ancient clonal manuscript! They're priceless! Fear not, Miss Liker. I will return your manuscripts forthwith. Instead of sucking, I simply have to blow. <laughs> Sometimes gets us into the odd bit of trouble, doesn't it? Mm. Mm, certainly does. And of course, there's dear old Sproggle. Oh, I'd be lost without him. You're more lost with him. Uh, turn right. Oh, no, left. Left. Between a little and a lot. And last but not least, there's you, Captain Thrice. The man on whom I rely. You do? Yes. Without you, I'd be stuck at home all day. Oh. And without you, I wouldn't get around as much as I do. <laughs> it seems we need each other, old girl. It seems that way, old chap. Oh, good heavens, it's time for the news. I must get Sproggle to switch on the radio. Come on. Steady on. We're not as young as you used to be. 